Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Let's go. Welcome to Mississippi, 47. A local gang known as the Gators handled the distribution of drugs up and down the Mississippi. The Gators move their merchandise on a tourist riverboat. Our client wants you to shut them down. Your job is to eliminate the six Gator crew members and their boss. The client also wants any documents you find in the boss's safe, which is somewhere on the upper deck. The Gators stay in their private area on the top two decks of the ship. Access to that area is limited. We have no other information. Keep up the good work, 47. That was probably the shortest cutscene in the game, so... Let's take a quick look at our weapons. I think I'm just gonna bring a silver baller this time. And leave all the big guns for later. Now, I did get a couple of upgrades for our favorite gun. I got the red dot sight, which is very useful for headshotting people. And I got the large clip, which means I won't have to reload as often. That's pretty useful. Alright, so here we are on the ship on the Mississippi. And uh, if you guys remember, this was advertised in a newspaper or two earlier, earlier in the game. And there are a bunch of sailors on here. Bunch of sailors with rippling arms. Looks like we actually gonna be early for this little That'll make the boss man happy. Early for what, I wonder? Could that be a clue? I don't think it's a clue. I'm gonna bother this guy for a little bit. Well, he doesn't seem to mind me walking up behind him like a creep. So, uh, let's, uh, oh, here we go. That is the very, our very first target. He's one of the Gator Gang. We don't really know much about the Gator Gang. All the all the profile does is list his name. Unlike Skip Muldoon, that's quite a quite a profile he had. If you guys bothered to read it, let's, let's do some sneaking around. I don't think I did a lot of sneaking in the last level. Or did I? I can't really remember. All right, let's sneak over here. And, uh, he's watching that guy shovel coal into the furnace. Uh oh, looks like we've been spotted. No trespassing, fella. Oh, okay. Alright, fine, I'm leaving. Let me just walk behind you and take out my gun and grab you. Huh. What am I gonna do with this guy? Should I? Nah. Let's just knock him out over here. I don't think that, uh, that... There we go. Nice and easy. And oh, what's this? Oh, the Bull 480. The Bull 480. This is a big boy gun. You're not a big boy, sir. You're a little boy. I'll take this. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, we're gonna get out of here and get to the party upstairs. But first, um, oh, gotta pick that lock. Huh. You know, I feel like killing a little more. It'll get warmed up. Oh, here's our here's a target. You know, it's it's really important to get warmed up before uh, you know before you do something, before you before you run, before you work out. And he doesn't seem to care at all that I'm creeping around behind him. Oh, knock his ass out. There we go. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. okay. Oh. It seems I was too close to push him, but now he's dead. That felt pretty good. Mwahaha. You know, a lot of people complain about video games being murder simulators. Well, this really is a murder simulator. Yep, he's dead. Because he's bleeding out of his butt. And, uh, let's try out our new big boy gun. Let's try out our big... There we go. Nice. One shot, put him down. Wonder if anyone heard that. Oh, I guess some someone did hear it. And 
And, uh, oh, here comes someone else to see what's going on. And there's a lady pointing in that direction. Huh. Well, this level is very big, and there's a lot of options. I'm gonna try to cover all of the stage in the three videos. But I'm not gonna make any promises, and... Huh. You know, there's no music in this. There's no music in this area, and there's no... There's not even ambient sound in this le in this particular part of the stage. It's kind of creepy, and... Huh. Got cake here, and, uh... A pineapple juice. Kind of feels like Mario Sunshine. Ugh. Okay. Um, this, this place is kind of boring, huh? Well, let's, uh, is the sound working? Is it? Huh. Okay, well, the sound appears to be working, so let's, uh, I guess the designers just, okay, ambient sound, finally. It's beginning to creep me out. Got some servants there. Oh, there's more people here. Beg your pardon, huh? sir. Might I trouble you to direct a waiter in my direction? <laughs> what? What'd you say to me, asshole? Oh, man. Uh, you know, as, as sharply as dressed as you are, you know, you really don't have a right to tell me what to do. Huh. You know, I think I've seen you somewhere before. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think something was wrong with your face, but it appears to have fixed itself, so I guess there's no need to worry, huh? You now, like I was saying, it, I think I've seen that lady somewhere before, and, uh, huh. Oh, he seems to be having a good time. Let's see if we can creep this guy out. Gotta make him mess up. Make him mess up his, his song here. And no, he... You know, a lot of people seem to be pretty tolerant of 47 creeping up behind him. That's strange. I told him to. Dad has been so worried about business lately. Business been slow. Oh, all this anti-cloning stuff is scaring investors away. Yeah, right. There's just uncertainty in the market, and that's why we can't create jobs. What are you oh. doing sneaking around like that? Oh, uh, you creep. I'm sorry, uh, I what do didn't you think you're doing. I, I wasn't thinking. I didn't think you'd notice. Huh. You know, one thing I've noticed is that all the men here are old, and all the women are young. No uh, admittance no without a VIP pass. Yes. Well, oh, look at you smug little bastard in your shorts. And you. You're, you're, not, you're not so fucking tough, man. I'll knock you out. And your wife beater. Oh. He's wearing a wife beater in a room full of people with tuxedos. No, that's that's not classy at all. But you know, I think uh, I think we need to get fancier suit for forty seven. I mean, you know, forty seven suit is pretty slick, but uh, you know, we need a VIP pass, and we just uh, I think we need a tux. I'm just gonna look around and uh, huh. You know, you look pretty. Oh man, is that Santa? That is, that's Santa. Oh. I wonder if this means he's moved up in the world, or what? Or maybe he's just shooting another porn. Huh. And, uh... I think it looks like... Oh, is there anyone in there? Huh. Well, you know... Normally, there's another... Huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking through the keyhole, but now I'm not. So you can calm down now, alright? 309. Like I was saying, there is normally a Gator Gang member in here with this lady, but, uh, he actually moves to a different area after a while and stays there indefinitely. I'll be talking a little more about that later. Let's take a look in here. Huh. Um, I'm gonna take a whiz. Let's go and, uh... Ah! Ah, fuck! Ah, that guy scared me! Jeez. Huh. Well, uh, you know, let's drag him in here. I don't want anyone to, uh, no. What, uh, ugh, get knocked out. <laughs> oh, man, you see his body bounce? No. <laughs> well, let's get this guy in here. There we go. All right. There are a lot of doorways in this level, and dragging bodies through the doorways is always kind of tough. Let's get this guy in here, too. Let's 
pull him and oh oh jeez oh god your leg oh my god oh man um oh my god I'm gonna have to put this guy out of his fucking misery hold on a second okay there you go buddy and you too why not I'm just murder happy today aren't I let's uh Appears he has a master key card. We're gonna need that, I think. And ooh, a snub nose. This is a shitty gun. Slow reload. Uh, ugh, ugh. Oh man, that's gross. Um, right. Slow reload. Bad, uh, bad range. Uh, terrible gun. Okay. Um, let's check 323. Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I know what's in here. In here, we're gonna find a tuxedo and a VIP pass. Just what the doctor ordered. I guess the doctor or, or someone else. And tuxedo. Okay. And now we look exactly the same, except we're now wearing a tuxedo. So, um, great. That means we can get into the VIP room. Actually, I haven't checked if... Yep, it's definitely VIP. I haven't checked if you can uh, get into the VIP lounge without the tuxedo. Uh, I think they just added the tuxedo because it looks really cool. And to be honest, uh, the VIP section is pretty boring and lame. There's not much going on. See? But I guess that's what the VIP lounge is. It's, it's a place where a few... A few stuck-up douchebags can hang out together. Let's creep these people out. Oh. What are you doing? What do you Just think? What are you doing? Like Shaking your boobies at me? Is that what you're doing? A synchronized boobie shaking dance. Let's let's go in here. Let's get out. Let's get a stuffy atmosphere. No, oh, there's a card game going on. Huh. Let's go in here. Um, oh. Oh, I gotta pick this lock, but I can't do it with these people. Watching? There's really only one way to solve this problem. Okay. Nice. And you know, without that dot scope, I probably would have missed several times, so it's probably a good thing I had it. Now, it doesn't look like anyone's behind the door, so let's pick this lock. Okay. And oh, oh well, there's a sailor behind there. Uh, veiny armed sailors. Let's shoot through the door. Ha. And what? Oh, let's, let's try that again. Back. All right. Now he's definitely dead. Huh? Huh. He disappeared. Or ran away, I guess. No. Oh, you know. My gun has magnum bullets in it, but apparently that wasn't enough for that door. Well, it must be bulletproof or something. Well, now we're a first-class purser. Not quite sure what a purser is. I'm assuming it's some sort of, uh, you know, servant. And, uh, this is gonna help us get closer to Skip Muldoon and the rest of his goons. Oh, there's a cake there. Get that cake up to the boss man, boy, and shake a leg. What did you call me? Sir? Boy, that's a racist, and you're gonna die for that. Right in the fucking head. Okay. Yeah, you are dead. Oh, a knife. Sweet. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. I'll show you what I think of your cake. Give me that. Oops. My bad. I dropped it. Oh, Gator Gang member number two. Let's see. Surprise! You're dead. Well, let's take a look, closer look at that. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Doesn't it look like one of those fake knives that you stick on your head during Halloween? <laughs> Great. Always good for a laugh. And I'm gonna squat in this cake and <laughs> there, there. Now add some flavor to it. According to the profile, it's a whiskey cake. I guess I don't know. Blues and oh, huh. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, that guy's definitely guarding the door. Um, you know, he's probably gonna wanna check us. 
with that wand that all the guards and hitman blood money seem to use. So I'm going to use something that I haven't used yet in this playthrough. It's a storage box. You can actually store your weapons in these big black boxes and none of the NPCs will bother them. Which is nice because once an NPC picks up and walks away with something, it's really difficult to find it again. So, well, nothing else that they'd find on us in the search. It's especially useful if you have a two-handed weapon. You can put it down and not have to worry about it getting stolen. Let's uh, head over here. We don't want to run too fast. This guy's got an itchy trigger, trigger finger. Gonna have to search you, sir. Okay, search away, jackass. Okay, great. Nice hat, by the way. Sick. Nice hat. Oh, yeah, the South will rise again. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't realize anyone was in here. Hey, uh, have you seen your shirt anywhere? Because I'd like to help you find it if, you, if you'd like my help. Huh. Those oars, there sure are some... Oh, that's a nice belt buckle you got there. Oh. Huh. No, you didn't seem freaked out at all that I was... <laughs> crouching down in front of his crotch. Okay. What's heading here? You know, I, I bet that fat bastard isn't here. And, uh... Oh, oh there he is! Hiya. I ordered cake. Oh, okay. Um, it's a confectionery. You don't really need more cake, do you? Be a good little girl. What? Fetch it for us. Maybe I'll let you taste some of my sweet stuff. <laughs> what? Oh, God. I, I feel so fucking violated. Oh, man. He called me a girl? That, oh, man. I, I feel so confused now. So conflicted. And, oh, who's this beefcake? You are a beefcake, sir. And, uh, oh, God. What is he doing? No, he, he's taking a piss. Um... Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> you guys got something going on here, don't you? I'm a little sorry I interrupted. Um, what's he doing now? Is he, like, checking out his, that guy's piss or something? Oh, God. Go, go do something else less gross. Come on. I throw a coin, and you start the next part of your cycle. Come on. Oh, jeez. Alright, whatever. Keep looking at your boss's piss. Whatever. Fucking freak. Oh. Um. Yeah. What's, hey, what's in this room over here? I mean, he's watching the game. He's probably not gonna notice. Oh, he ordered a cake. Alright, I get it. I heard you the first time, you fucking pervert. Whoa. Well, okay, that's not necessary. That's not necessary. You don't, you don't, you don't have to... Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get this guy's cake. He's fucking creeping me out. Oh, God. I feel so dirty. Ugh. It's, uh, shirtless men and, like, weirdo creeps with shotguns and fat guys talking about their sweet stuff. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna get my gun back. I'm gonna get the silver baller back. It's my only friend at this point. Oh, yes. Oh. You know, just just holding that silver baller in my hand makes me feel feel more at ease. Well, let's, uh, let's get this cake he wants so much. i pick this cake up. I'll put my silver baller in it. No. I'm going to drop it on the floor one more time. There. Fuck that guy. Okay. I'm going to put our silver baller in the cake. How does 47 manage to put his silver baller in the cake? I don't know. He's 47. He can do whatever he wants. He's a... Oh, God. He's coming. Oh, don't make eye contact. Just pretend like he's not there. Um, I ordered cake. Yeah, here it is. It's a confection. Yeah, here it is. The fucking cake. Uh, be a good little girl. Oh, God. Stop fetching you know, for us and... Maybe That's, I'll let you oh God, I'm gonna fucking sue this guy. Sweet stuff. Oh, he just won't stop constantly. Fucking, oh, he's following me. I can just feel his eyes, you know, crawling all over my body. Oh, that. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna run a little bit. I don't want to talk to that guy anymore. Oh, gonna have God. to search you, sir. 
I'll, I'll do anything for this internship. Anything. Anything. Okay. Oh, don't mind that Thanks. choking wire. Let's You're all this. sick. Okay, thanks. Now, I think I'm gonna add a little something to this cake. Besides, you know, dirt and farts. And, uh, I'm gonna take my silver baller back. And in its place, I'm going to put in mine. I'll... I bet you guys can guess what I'm gonna do with this mine. So let's, uh... Okay, excuse me, you're in my way. All of you guys are in my fucking way. Thanks. Alright. I'm gonna give this guy his cake. And he's looking through the, the keyhole, because he's a creep. Okay. I'm gonna make him hurry along. You know, it's kind of funny. The coin's supposed to be for distracting people, but really all it's good for is making people hurry the fuck up. All right, big boy, take a, take a taste of that cake. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Open wide, bat, uh, uh, ugh, I was gonna say something cool there, but, you know, I think I'm gonna choke this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna choke him. I don't wanna give him the easy way out. Die. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the hell? Attack! Ow, hey, give me that. Uh -huh. What are you gonna do now? You ain't got shit. That's it. Get down. Oh, what? Oh, man. <laughs> Did you see that? You didn't action die. Get knocked the fuck out. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the first time I've seen anyone do an action roll and pick up a gun like that. Huh. I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Teabag that motherfucker. Yeah. That reminds me back of the days. Back in the Metal Gear Online days. Back when the servers were still up. You know, Kill someone, get a headshot, then teabag him. Good times, good times. All right, open wide. Oh, nice. I know you're already dead, but no. Okay, and we can't have any witnesses, so. Well, I hate to do this, but uh, yeah, you're dead. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, it's quite a mess. Huh. Well, now. If you're paying, oh, oh my, this is another big boy gun. Yeah, sweet. Got two big boy guns today. Now, uh, according to the the briefing, we gotta get this thing too. So let's get it. I'm gonna stuff that in my coat. And, uh, oh, looks like there's one Gator, Gator boy, Gator gang, whatever left. Kind of a stupid name. I can get some ammo here. That's kind of a stupid name when you think about it. Gator Gang. I mean, what makes them Gator Gang? You know, I don't know. They like alligators. They hang out in the swamp. I don't know. And uh, I don't like these guys. I do not like these first-class pursers. They, yeah, no, I just don't like them. Maybe it's their shorts. Maybe it's just a smug attitude. I don't know. Okay. Oh, do I look suspicious to you, huh? You gonna rub your chin? Gonna have to search you, sir. Search this, asshole. <laughs> search this. All right. I think we're done here, aren't we? I kind of feel like I'm forgetting something. I've laid waste to pretty much everyone up there, so. Oh, okay. Actually, there's one. There's one Gator Gang member left that we have to take care of. Only one left. Um, interesting story about this guy is, um, in the beginning of the stage, he visits his girlfriend. Um, now if you wait long enough, he actually stands out um, on the balcony alone, and it becomes very easy to push him off into the water and get an accidental kill. Um, but in my silent assassin run. As you guys already know, I don't like to wait, so I actually um, kill him in a different way, and then I also have to kill his girlfriend, uh, so she doesn't discover the body. Um, yeah, well, you'll see more about that later in the Silent Assassin run. I'm gonna reload just to just to make sure, just to make sure I'm prepared. And I think in this recording, I forgot that he goes out into the balcony, so. Now I'm gonna check the room and see if he's there. And of course he's not there. 
Okay. I thought it was kind of odd. Yeah, see, there he is. Right there. So I'm gonna head back out here. I'm gonna check the map one more time because my sense of direction is terrible. And he's right out here. Okay, and as you can see, he's smoking a cigarette, not suspecting a thing. Let's push him over. Die! Oh, what? Uh. Snitches get stitches, lady. So, uh, I'm not sure why falling into the water from only, I don't know, 20 or 30 feet kills a guy, but it does. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I can maybe understand jumping from the very top might, I don't know, break a bone or something, but really, you know, 20 feet, come on. I mean, you'll get wet, no, maybe they can't swim, I don't know. Oh, those are quite big. So... I guess the most tedious part about this stage is that you have to you have to go through a restricted area to get out, and if you want to leave with your suit, oh, you're trying to give up, but you know I'm gonna kill you anyway. And uh, I don't know why, but uh, oh, nice belt buckle, asshole. The North won. The North kicked your ass. Fuck you. Like I was saying, that that um, assassination with the uh, with the fire extinguisher kind of reminded me of Manhunt, you know, because you could kill you could kill people with pretty much anything in that game. Um, you know, I, I don't often get I don't often kill people with melee weapons that aren't a choke. So I get rid of that. Um, okay, I'm done rambling. Let's let's end the stage. Let's uh huh. 17 kills. This is quite a body count for my normal run. Uh, no witnesses, that's good. I don't want to pay for it. Oh, a lean killer. We're a lean killer in this one. Huh, it's kind of a weird title. I mean, I don't think 17 kills is really lean, you know? That's quite a lot of killing. Let's take a look at the newspaper here. Lean killer masters 18. Okay. Hmm. 31 shots were fired. I kind of feel like I shot more than that. But, eh. And uh, the Bull 40 480 double action revolver. That's the gun that we were using. That's a pretty sweet gun. I might might take it with me on later missions. I don't know. Hmm. Let's take a look around. Well, this is from a this is from a level later on. Kind of. I don't know. Here's a kind of boring article about fake politics. Um, yeah, pause and read it if you really care, want. Oh, it looks like Tom Seward isn't doing quite as good as he was before. That's interesting. Do you remember before um, his, he was doing much better? Okay. Bring your own ammo. Huh. Okay. Well, nothing much. And that's it for Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm Nick Meister. I'll see you next time.